Um, so first we have a land acknowledgement, um, especially since this meeting, we don't know where um, everybody is. So uh, we respectfully acknowledge that this meeting is being held on the traditional lands of Duwamish, Skokamish, Snohamish, Snoqualmie, and Suquamish and other Coast Salish tribes. Um, just since like w w our, group is our group is located in Washington and those are um, some of the tribes on Washington, in Washington. And the next slide, yeah. Uh, so uh, just to introduce myself, I'm Kaylee. I go by she, her pronouns, and I'm a member of the Washington NAACP Youth Council. And um, our our council has been working on policy 1250, and we were, we've were we been fighting for it to um, even be passed for about like two years now. And I'll pass it over to Mia to introduce herself. Hi, my name is Mia Dabney. Um, I use she, her pronouns. Um, and I am a member of the NAACP Youth Council. And I'm super excited to be introducing this policy and um, the application to everyone. All right, and President Hersey, would you like to introduce yourself? We cannot hear you. Can y'all hear me now? Yes. Okay, awesome. Hey y'all, how's it going? My name is Brandon Hersey. I am the president of the Seattle School Board and I also represent District 7, which is Southeast Seattle. Uh, thank y'all for spending some time with us tonight. I'm super excited to talk more about getting some youth on the board. And then I see a couple of other directors have joined, joined us. Vice President Hampson, would you like to introduce yourself? Sorry about that. Hi, I am Director Hampson, uh, Vice President of the School Board, uh, Ho Chunk, and Winnebago from the um, Winnebago Tribe of Nebraska. And Director Song Moritz. I think I see you on here. Yes. Hi, good afternoon, everybody. I am Director Vivian Song Moritz. Um, I am the Director for District 4, uh, which covers Ballard High School and the Center School. Thanks for joining us today. All right, and it looks like um, Rena uh, has joined. Rena, would you like to introduce yourself from the NAACP Youth Council? Um, yes, hi everyone. My name is Rena Matasia, she, her pronouns. Um, I'm a current senior at Cleveland High School, and I'm also a member of the NAACP Youth Council. All right, thank you. Um, and I've already introduced myself, but again, Julia Worth, uh, Director of Board Relations and Strategic Initiatives, and I use uh, she, her pronouns. Um, and Nichelle Page, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure, sure. Hello, everyone. My name is Nichelle Page. I have the pleasure of serving in the Office of African American Male Achievement. Um, I work with Black student unions throughout the district to unify and um, broaden the direction that we're going. And I'm so happy to be here with you this evening. And Jill Leahy. Sure. Hi, everybody. I'm Jill Leahy. I use she, her pronouns. I um, am the Partnership Alignment Manager in our Community Partnerships Department here at the district. I also support our Superintendent Student Advisory Board. And it's just been really fun supporting the work that everyone's been doing to get this policy going. All right, and let's see, Pauline. Hi, thank you. Uh, my name is Pauline Amel Nash, and I work in the public affairs team. I support the web services and communications team, and I'm um, really looking forward to hearing this. Great, thank you. All right, and uh, back to you, Mia, Kaylee, and Rena Mateja. Hi, I can start. Um, so this policy really came to be um, just having students speak at a school board meeting and sharing their ideas. Um, and then from there, um, 
I'll pass it on to either Rena or Kaylee to like talk about what kind of started us working on the policy and like then then after that the application. Um, yes, definitely. I can add on. Also, sorry for any um, background noise. Um, but I would say this started like Kaylee had previously said about um, two years ago. And I remember this first starting um, kind of an NYC meeting. We were all like talking about change, talking about action, talking about like ways we can like, you know, not only like advocate but like make sure that like when we want to create change like we have like the direct access to like create the policies to vote to like create the direct changes that like it would take um and so we were like oh my gosh like how cool would it be like if we got you know like students on the school board um and then i remember a couple of us did some more research and we found out that Tuckwilla actually had students on the school board as well um so really just like seeing that but also just like knowing like how powerful we were as youth like that was something that we said okay like yep like let's make that happen um and we just kind of started with this like a couple of like meetings just like as youth as like what we wanted to do um and then reaching out to school board directors and like asking for next steps like and stuff like that um then kaylee if there's anything that you want to add yeah um and just like adding on like i remember seeing this um start off as just like something broad from like one of our demands which is like increasing youth voice and then it kind of like i think like oh uh, this is just what like rena said but like in a meeting like i think um just more people started talking about different ideas and it just developed into this whole um committee where we worked on like a proposal we did our research we met with like um we met with like people who were involved with um like uh their own school board and like their and other um things like that and it also um we also spent like countless nights of just like figuring out um how we should present this to um school board members and we also um individually met with school board members um going through the slides and working with um just so many different things and researching and like and like now we're here, so yeah. Next slide. And for this next slide, I think um, Mia is gonna explain this quote about um, building bridges between students and the board. Sorry, it wouldn't let me unmute. Thank you. Um, so one thing we added to the policy to make sure that like it was we could have like somewhat of a visual example um, is the Angela Davis quote, um, walls turn sideways are bridges. Um, and I'll say that just one more time, walls turn sideways are bridges. And we're using this quote in the policy as a way to explain how there are current bridges between the school board and administration and students. Um, and using this quote to show that walls turn sideways are bridges and it builds that bridge um, between to, to um, have connection with the youth and the staff and administration and specifically the school board because right now we do have a lot of walls built up um, and this quote is just a way for us to use it um, to help uh, people and us understand like what we're fighting for and what we're looking to see um, within this policy and the um, application for students to be on the school board. Yeah, so this is our goals for the policy. Um, the first set of bullet points was our goals from when we first started um, the proposal. And these goals were like really helped us shape where we are now. So um, so I'll just read some of them out loud. It um, like uplift and increase the voices of students within SPS, specifically BIPOC students, uh, work towards an educational system that is best for students make active changes that students want and need, help students understand the system around them and see their role in it, um, and school board members gain more of a grasp on student perspective. And then the second part is just some added goals where I know um, me, Rena, and Mia can also add on more. Um, this is just to summarize, um, just for like a visual point of view, um, using this as a stepping stone to get youth voices in other places, like, um, like it could lead to other schools being, uh, school districts being inspired to uh, create their own policy as well to have um, students on their school board. 
and then building stronger community and relationships between the school board. And during this process, youth voice will be heard and action will be taken with it. And that's um, some of like our goals. And I know Rena and Mia probably have more goals to add on to this. I think you said said it all. I just want to say it again. Um, I really want this policy um, to be a way for BIPOC voice to be uplifted and heard um, in SBS um, and it to be respected. So um, I just wanted to say that again because I think it's really important. Um, but that's what I'm looking for. And I'm looking for respect um, and adults who are open to listening um, to see changes. Um, so that's what I'm really looking for right now. All right, and President Hersey, over to you to provide the board's perspective on our goals for this policy. Absolutely, and so what I really want to highlight is that when we are talking about the board perspective, this is a shared vision that we have with the youth that have worked on this policy. One of the big focuses that Director DeWolf and I had when we sat out on this journey was to make sure that we were as little in the way as possible uh, because we want to make sure that student voice is centered as much as we can, which is why you see that the first bullet says to uplift and increase the voices of students with within Seattle Public Schools and specifically BIPOC students. We know that you know there's been this dance going back and forth between the board and community, but specifically students you know, in the past couple of weeks alone, or past couple of months rather, there have been a number of student protests to SPS decisions. Um, and in some capacities, directors are able to listen and do something about it. And in some capacities, we're just not, right? And the only way that we're going to be able to break down those silos and really break those cycles is to put as much effort into getting students at the table in terms of decision making as possible. And I think that this policy is a huge step forward in that regard. Working toward an educational system that is best for students is only going to be possible if we really seek to understand what a productive and meaningful partnership with student leaders in the board looks like. And I don't want to disillusion anyone. We do not know what this is going to look like completely. So a big thing that I am looking forward to is for the inaugural students to help us figure out what is the best way to go about doing this. I serve as probably, no, not probably, I serve as the youngest member of our board and I just turned 30. So I'm very much so removed from what the experiences of being a high schooler is like. And so I don't want to, I don't want to make for any confusion. We are very much so interested in having the students who really serve in these inaugural positions be very instrumental in helping us understand and determine what this is going to look like moving forward. We want to make active changes the students want and need. We want to include students in decision making on issues that impact them directly. But most importantly, school board directors want to build solid relationships with our students. You know, what I think we miss out on in the opportunity of serving as school board directors is spending time directly with youth. Uh, in the past, we spent a lot of time focused on adult needs and adult problems and less time focused on student outcomes. And I believe strongly that if we are really going to make the system better together, the only way for us to do that effectively is hand in hand with the folks who we are trying to serve, which is y'all. So again, I'm just really excited for those of you who were able to join us tonight. And I look forward to hopefully working with some of you as we get this up and rolling. Great, thank you. Um, and Mia, Kaylee, and Rena, back over to you. Um, so the um, I can. Oh, do you want to do it? <laughs> Sorry. No, you can start, Mia. Please start. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. Um, so the role of a student member is to serve as um, a student voice. So like, again, going back to that quote, being a bridge between students and adults. Um, and then also building relationships with peers. So getting to know your students, getting to know your community so you can fight for what they want and for what's going on with them. Um, and then attend regular um, board meetings, which is just helpful to know what's going on, to know um, what you're voting on and stuff like that. Um, and then to attend committee meetings, um, which is again, to just know what's going on within the school board. Um, so you can bring that information to the back to the community and talk about what they need. I apologize about that. I'm gonna track meet. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah, and just adding on to uh, what Mia had already said and what is already shown, um, I just wanted to emphasize um, how impactful um, being a student on the school board is and how um, how your voice really, really matters. And especially, um, this is just something that's like life-changing, history-changing, like it can change like the future of the district. So I just wanted to emphasize how impactful your voice would be as um, you're signing up and applying for this. All right. Um, and I did just want to clarify one thing about um, the role of the student member. Um, and so um, one just seconding how important it is going to be to have student voice on the board um, and important to have that voice as the board is making decisions. Um, I did just want to clarify that the, the student member positions are non voting positions. Um, and so when uh, official votes of the board are being taken, the student members won't be voting. However, um, one of the things we are hoping that this inaugural um, group of student members will help us build out is the the um, structures for ensuring that student voice is heard um, in those board meetings, um, making sure that the, the student perspective is considered um, in the board's decision making process. Um, so just wanted to, to clarify that one point there. Um, so in terms of how to apply to be a student board member, um, the application has three parts. Um, the first part is a written form, um, and that written form includes four short answer questions and then other information like what is your name, high school, um, and, and contact information. Um, the application also includes a video statement and that uh, video uh, should be no more than three minutes um, and uh, uh, can be just anything else that you want um, the selection panel to know about you that is not already reflected in the written questions. Um, so it's really an opportunity to be creative and show your personality um, and just um, put forward anything else that we should know. Um, and then finally, the application also requires two references, um, and these references can be from anyone who can speak to your leadership ability. Um, so it can be a teacher, it can be a counselor, but it can also be a peer. Um, so someone that you've worked with um, and that could talk about your leadership skills or how you've built community um, in your school or in other places. So it can be a community mentor. Um, uh, there's really kind of a wide range of um, folks that you can get your reference from. Um, so it doesn't have to just be an adult from your school building. Um, oh, one more thing I did want to note about the written form is that um, it is a, a Microsoft form, so you will need to be logged into your um, uh, logged into your SPS account um, in order to fill out that form. You will also be able to upload your video statement in that form. And so the, the link that's on the main page will take you to the form and you can upload your video there too. Um, and uh, the form cannot be saved. So as you're working on it, you can't save and walk away and then come back to it. Um, so particularly for the written questions, um, please make sure that you start the written your responses in a Word document, finalize them there and then just copy and paste them over to the form because we wouldn't want you to lose any of the hard work that you're putting into this. Um, so this is just the um, short answer questions um, that are part of the application. Um, each should only be about four to six sentences. It doesn't need to be an essay, just a, a, a brief paragraph um, to answer each of the questions. And like I said, please start in a Word document first and then copy it into the form itself. Um, and then just a, a brief overview of the selection process. And so for this um, inaugural group of student board members, um, we will be bringing three students onto the board. Um, and so the selection committee um, will be selecting three finalists from the pool of applicants. Um, it will be a student led selection committee. Um, so it will be students making this choice. Um, and the process will be an application review. Um, then um, 
a subset of applicants will be selected for an interview um, with the panel. Um, and then uh, the final selection will be made by the, the student committee. Um, and those three students will be put forward to the board. Um, and then um, the school board will take an official vote um, to bring students onto the board. Um, and that official vote is set to happen in June. Um, so then once students are selected in June, uh, you would begin your um, term as a student board member um, in the 2022-23 school year. Um, and with that, I think we are ready to open up for questions. Um, so for uh, those of you who are on Teams, um, please use the raise hand function and I will call on you. And then I'll also try to keep an eye on the chat because um, I already saw some questions pop in. All right, uh, Jasmine, I see your hand. Um, if we could possibly be moving to a different state within the next year. Could I still remain a member if I am ex accepted as a member? Um, so it you would have to be enrolled as a Seattle Public School student. And so if you were no longer enrolled, um, you wouldn't be able to still serve. Uh, Caitlin? So overall in the Seattle public schools are only three people being chosen or three people per district being chosen as. Like every every school has three different people or the district has three people or the whole. What That's is it? Yeah, so it will be three total. Um, so representing the entire district. So that would mean three per district, like so let's say three people in district four and three people in district seven, or is it just three people for the for the Seattle school board, like everything? Yes, just three people for the Seattle school board okay. for, for everything. Mm -hmm. OK, thank you. Yep. Uh, Joseph. Right. Uh, hey, so I think you might have spoken on this, but if so, I forgot. Hot, will the committee meetings be entirely uh, virtual or is there like uh, virtual or are we expected to attend a physical home meeting? Um, that is a good question. We do not. So currently committee meetings are virtual and then uh, regular board meetings are in person. Um, so for the regular board meetings, you would be expected to attend in person. Um, okay. The board has not decided for the 22-23 year if committee meetings will remain virtual, um, but those are typically held with the hybrid option, so you should be able to join virtually in the future. OK, thank you. Mm -hmm. And I also had a question which I put in the chat, which was uh, has to confirm that a recommendation doesn't need to be from a source like that you know how you're connected to through school. Right. They just need to have reason to think you'll be good on the visit on the position. Yes, exactly. OK, yep. thank you. And let's see, I saw a new hand pop up here. Uh, Nicolo. Yes, hello. <clears throat> Um, I just wanted to ask, like, how are you picking who's going to be on the student selection committee? Is there a, a selection committee for the selection committee? Or is it just like a couple people from every school? Like how many people are on the selection team? Who's running it? That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all very good questions. Um, we were just discussing this afternoon um, and so uh, we will be recruiting for the selection committee um, from different uh, uh, groups across the district um, and across various schools. And so um, students that are interested um, in being on the selection committee um, will be uh, 
basically you'll be getting messages shortly about how to join the selection committee. Um, if the one uh, caveat to that is that um, if you are applying to be a student board member, you cannot be on the selection committee. Um, and then in terms of your question about the size of the selection committee, um, that is still under consideration. Yeah, and adding on to answer that question, um, like the selection committee, our kind of vision for it is kind of like um, youth from like different backgrounds, youth from different like organizations and things like that, um, where we can all like share our different perspectives and selecting that choice. Jasmine? So I have a question about references. Um, how would that work? Should I mention the contact of the person that could give the references? Or is there just like a, a quote needed or of some sort? Yeah, so there is a form um, for the person to fill out that you would like to have um, as your reference. And that is uh, linked from the um, the student board member page. So there's a link to the application and there's also a link to the recommendation form. And so you can send that form um, to the person and they'll fill it out and then it'll come straight to the um, uh, school board office. And we'll put it together with the rest of your application. Uh, Nicola? Yes, sorry, another one. Um, can you have more than two references? Like, could you get three references? Um, so we are going to limit it to two references just so everyone has equal opportunity across applications. OK. And uh, Jill has dropped the um, recommendation form into the chat. So if you need that direct link, it is in there now. Um, and Nicolo, I'm sorry, am I saying your name correctly? I feel like maybe I'm uh, not. It's Nicolo, but just Nicolo. Nicolo is fine. OK, all right. Um, uh, in terms of your question, if a reference can be a school board member, um, it cannot, that would potentially bias the, the committee. Um, so to avoid that kind of conflict, um, that would be the, the one person it couldn't be. Can it be a former school board member? Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, I would need to get back to you on that. Okay. Can, can I, can you maybe drop like an email or something so I can reach out to check about that? Yes. Thank you. All right. Any other questions? Oh, I see. Joseph, I see your hand. Right. Uh, so given that we seem to be wrapping up, it occurred to me that since you're having another info session on April 5th, I figured I should ask, is that going to be essentially a repeat of this one for people who didn't show up to this or will there be new information? Uh, Aside so, from new questions that might have been asked. Right. Yep. Yeah. So it will be the same presentation as this evening, but um, with uh, potentially different questions. OK, thanks. Yeah. Okay, um, well, I have uh, dropped my email in the chat, so if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, we also have a Let's Talk button on the um, the website, um, and so if you have any questions and don't can't find my email again, uh, go ahead and, and hit the Let's Talk button on the um, SPS website, and one of the options there is to um, uh, 
ask a question about being a student school board member, um, and so you can get your question answered that way as well. Um, so you don't, uh, you have a couple different options for reaching out to us. Um, Mia, Kaylee, and Rena, anything you would like to say before we close out, or any things to highlight that haven't come up yet? Um, I think the only thing I would want to say is like, um, to the people in here, like who are interested, really hope you like take this opportunity because I think it's going to be amazing. Um, excited to see where this goes and like, um, signing up will be like some kind of change in our like education system and it's going to make an impact. So like, if you want to be a part of the change and a part of the impact in our education, like, please feel free to sign up. Like it's going to do something. And like, I believe in all of you who do it. So thank you so much. I agree with Mia and like just adding on like if you have like friends or peers that you feel like um, usually their voice is like unheard but they have such a strong powerful voice like I really highly encourage, encourage you to encourage them to also sign up to and apply to. Um, yes, I would just like to say thank you all so much for showing up. It really means a lot even just being here today is a first step to creating change so just thank you guys for showing up and i really hope to see all of you soon and uh let's see i see one last hand margarita uh yeah um so i was just wondering if for example a person was selected and then was one to one of the selected of the three people um when would like the meeting start like at what exact month and at what exact month would it like end mm -hmm. yeah so um the meetings will start uh in september um so that will be the the first meeting the board holds a meeting in august and that will be optional for the student members but the first required meeting will be in september um, and then the last required meeting for student members will be um, the last June meeting um, of the year. There's also a July meeting, and so if students wanted to attend that July meeting, um, they are, they're welcome to. The, your, your term would still go through then, but um, that wouldn't be a required meeting. So required meetings from beginning of September through end of June with an optional August and July meeting. All right, well, if there are no other questions, thank you all so much for being here. Um, thank you all so much for your interest. Um, this is really exciting um, to see you all here um, and uh, just really, really looking forward um, to getting to work with you. Um, and uh, like I said, please reach out if you have questions, either Let's Talk or my email um, in the chat, and we'll try to get you um, answers and any support that you need in your application. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so everybody. Much. Thank you. Have a good day.